Taking a look at the installation of the Mijin. First order of business, install your clips. The Mugen, today we're going to be using uh, an AMD, so we're going to be installing the AMD clips. The Mugen can install in either direction with the fan blowing out the back or top, so you need to make sure you're going to be putting it on the correct way. Today we are going to blow the fan out the back, so clips will go on with four screws. With the clips in place, we are ready to move on to getting the Mugen into the case. Next, we're going to get the back plate into place and it will line up with the holes. And we're going to use four back plate screws. We'll go through the motherboard. With four screws in place, we're actually going to place four washers onto the screws. They are rubber grommets, which obviously will keep anything from shorting out. And give a little bit of spring. to the cooler as well. So what you have is four screws grommeted coming through the motherboard. The clips on the AMD socket are actually threaded so what we're going to do is place Mugen into place and screw it in from the back, four screws directly into the four outside clips. With the Mugen in the case, fans will mount with standard clips. With the fans in place, uh, plugging them in, obviously two fans, there is no included Y connector. So you're going to run one fan to your CPU fan another to a power fan anywhere you like on the board. So finished product. The Mugen 3 looks good in the case. Takes up a lot of real estate, but that's going to be expected from a full-size cooler with uh, two fans. Installation was actually very, very easy. Uh, no problems at all. Uh, the inclusion of a Y adapter would have been really nice for the CPU fans. Uh, also, um, the fan clips. We're not seeing a lot of these anymore. They weren't really a struggle to work with, but they are pretty flimsy. But other than that, good solid installation, very easy, and looks like it's going to do some serious cooling.